What's up guys, Tom here the Iron Beast, welcome back to Ragnarok Season 2, we're in Episode 5, we're almost at the end of it, it's moving really fast, I'm not sure about you guys, but I feel like I could watch a dozen of these episodes quite easily in one uh, season, and I felt that way uh, at the end of the first season as well, it moves fast, it tells a really cool story, so I'm um, really enjoying it, so last episode it was awesome to see reveal of the God of War, it was awesome to see that it wasn't the mechanic guy in the end, that was sort of hinted in the very first episode that there was something about him so i'm glad that he's gone from jerk to becoming one of their allies look forward to seeing the actual proper reveal of him hopefully uh, we see that in one of these coming episodes you know um it was a bummer that saxa doesn't get to run the business i think she had a really good outlook where obviously not putting aside her giant heritage um she's keen to see the whole thing evolve with humanity with uh, the environment and with the times you know so that would have been good to see how that played out but you know it was a bit of a twist of course having fuel to come back and assume Vita's role so that's going to be pretty cool actually to see that flip change in his personality where he wanted nothing to do with it and now he's fully embraced it and obviously he's going to uh, want revenge and pretty quickly and of course Magna trying to not be Thor anymore that's quite funny you can sort of understand where he's coming from I don't know about you guys but if I was Thor I'd love it they have all these powers and everything why not but anyway guys so super awesome uh, series so far and let's get straight into this episode and see what it's all about Yeah, the serpent. I was hoping they'd develop a bit more about the serpent. Oh, okay. Is he in spirit realm again? Oh, shit. Gotta fulfill your destiny. Save her. Save everyone. Hey, there's plenty of food on the table. Didn't you get rid of that tapeworm? Huh? Are you okay? Hey? You need to be careful, okay? I can't see anything. There you go. Let's eat breakfast. I'll eat in my room. Come on, Laurits. I'm not myself. I'm not myself. So who are you? Wow. So it's a bit like a Peter Parker thing, maybe? I don't think the gods would have taken his powers away, surely. I'm uh, off to school. I head to the office after. I need to finish my exam. Isn't it strange? That is just us women left in this big old house. Wine and cigarettes in the morning? That's what's strange. She's letting her emotions in. It's After kind of cool graduation, Saxa Yutun will succeed Nido Yutun. Oh, that's cool. So she is taking over. I assumed that Fjord would be taking over. I'm so sorry about your father. Thanks. But now we look forward. <laughs> She's cold. I love that about Saxa's character. And she plays it really well, sort of impartial to everything. Statement was well received. Oh no, he is back. Yeah. What are you doing here? My job. I thought we agreed Vida's that you... death changed things. It's the corporate bylaw state that the uh, eldest son should take over. That is from 1872. This is going to be interesting to see what his personality change is like. I've sworn to revenge Vida's death, Saxa. So you'll kill Magna and graduate while running Norway's fifth largest company? I actually live by the old laws. We'd like to thank you for your contributions. Let's see if her emotions come out now. This entrance is way too dangerous. Something crazy happened. What are you doing? You lost all your powers. You've become weak. Everything that made you special has been taken away from you. You asked to be relieved of your powers. You ran into the mountains and shouted to the heavens. You sat in the Christian church and prayed to a god you don't believe in. You saw me? I see everything. I hear everything. He's awesome. Your prayers were heard by those who spin the threads of our destiny. Now you're just an ordinary boy among them. Okay, so I'm not a part of this anymore? The battle continues without you. But with him? Anyone carrying the gift of your powers must be prepared to pay the highest price. Stand by your choice. Awesome. Consequences. Wow, it's good to see his actual emotions for a change. This series is so awesome. Oops, what happens when the wife comes? Oh, here we go. I'm sorry. Ooh. I didn't think anyone was home. Dad gave me a key. You think you can come in here? What you did at the funeral was unacceptable. There's nothing strange about us children helping to carry our father. Don't call him your father. Can see where she's coming from, but she is harsh. I'll give you something to remember. Do you know what the last conversation between Vida and I was about? Which one of us should kill you? 
He wanted to do it himself. Well, I guess she just lost that ally that they really need. <laughs> oh my god, dude, you gave your powers up. It's Many over for you. In Norse <laughs> mythology revolve around clans and conflicts between clans. I've had a look at your essay topic. It might be a good idea to try and place Norse mythology in a more modern context. You can't. And back then, gods and giants broke bread together. If they disagreed, they killed each other. Then they went back to drinking mead, like buddies. If the good only can win by killing, they have already lost. Right, exactly that. The moral conflict between good and evil. Nice, Magna. We just got our language grades. A B in language? I'm fucking fluent. Is anyone in the office? <laughs> uh, yeah, at all, actually. I love her character. The final grades are not up for discussion, Iman. You're asking me for preferential treatment because of your Sri Lankan heritage. I think that you, on second thought, know that I deserve a better grade. And I also think that you are a very attractive woman. You've become more vulnerable. Maybe you should open up to it. Well, I didn't think it would work on giants. Oh, wicked. Don't look, Mum. You'll be freaked out. <laughs> We're discussing who should represent us in the meeting with you two industries. Laudes can do it. You can dress up in drag. <laughs> It's just one of those days. I'm feeling kind of homeless. Black coffee, no milk, no sugar. You're always welcome here. That's cool. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Complain about your grade? Turns out it was a mistake. I got an eight. Okay. <laughs> I might have used my powers a little bit. You can't use your powers like that for new clothes or better grades. You left on your own accord, so don't lecture me. Good call. Uh, kind of cool to see Mona with that moral dilemma, though. What is in Grandma's old fish tank? It's a pet. That was not a pet in there. Mom, I wear different clothes, listen to different music, and as part of that culture, I like reptiles. What? I don't want it living here. But I need it. Because you don't believe in sexual identities? Because I just lost my father. You have to pay! Hey! Hey! Oh! <laughs> awesome! Are you stealing my gasoline, dirtbag? <laughs> Stop! Don't mess with the God I'm of War. The bike till your mom comes to get it. He steals a tiny bit of gas and you beat the shit out of him. Don't use your powers like that. You quit. Shouldn't have quit, dude. I bought some extra ham, if that's what that thing is. Thanks. Can I ask you something, since you're a boy or a man or... I sent Eric a text. Listen to this. That sounds nice. Dot dot dot. What does that mean? Is there an opening? <laughs> Mom, I can't help you flirt with my teacher. Now that we're all here, let's eat. I'll eat later. I know you're angry with me. I'm so sorry about what happened. I asked to lose my powers, and it happened. I can't see shit. I fell down the stairs. You're not a god anymore? It's important to me that you know. I thought it was going to hurt you. I wanted to save you. Now he knows the truth, too, so that's cool. I don't want to be the one that killed your father. I want to be your brother. You will always be my big brother. Just don't ask me for more favors in your crazy battle. Oh, not that tight. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> <So> <laughs> I want to talk to the board. Cancel all meetings with the environmental activists. I think this will make us seem inconsistent. And if not, we come across as weak. Wow, he's flip changed hard. This is cool. Here are the folders you requested. Can I have a word? The dwarves forged Thor's hammer. They were the greatest in the art of forging. Don't drink the water. What are you doing? She got fired, bro. I got fired? Fjord has taken over now. Fjord fired you? Something about a personal conflict and it was a bit nasty to me. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, that's sad. She's such he a cool mom. He didn't want a mother of a <laughs> bastard around. <laughs> 
She's harmless and well-meaning. That's kind of sad. Oh, dude, you haven't even got your god powers. What are you going to do now? Fjord! You fired my mom. Yes. Vida couldn't do it. He went soft in his old age. Weren't you leaving with Gri? You killed Vida. You gave me no choice. Is that all you've got? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Vida told me you got stronger. Huh? Show mad. <laughs> Is that all you've got? Where are your powers? What? You've become weak again. You are nothing. You're not even worth killing. Wow. This is so good. Yep, it's hard to stand over people when you don't have your god powers. He's gonna have to prove his worthiness. You. Right. I can't be this weak. Are you ready to take up the battle? You'll have to kill again. There has to be another way. You know, sometimes there are no other ways. But I think you have it in you. What went through your mind when he kicked you like a little dog? What did you want to do then, Munger? Laritz and I have just become friends again. I can't kill any more of his new family. I won't kill. With your feet in the air and your head on the ground, your head will collide. Love that he wants the strength without the burden. <laughs> Put your shoulder out, I love it. <laughs> Having a little tantrum. You took the axe from Vida's grave. Not that we're gonna need it. Among us lost his powers. He's just a scared little kid. Now we need to focus on our business. And let me be clear, I'll straighten out the unsteady course we've been taking. Unsteady course? We've been doing incredible! And you cancelled the meeting with the kids, why? Norway's fifth largest corporation no longer needs a human face. A meeting with a younger generation will strengthen our image, and it will make us more modern. Yeah, she's right. And the eldest son calls the shots. Not if he's voted off, he won't. I bailed you out. I kept this company afloat. Me! She's got a bit of vision for the company's longevity. I think it's great to have a man around here, Saxa. Hi. Did you hear that they cancelled the meeting? Suddenly they don't want to talk to us or the environmental agency. You have a scratch here. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's not good uh, around girls, is he? Come here. I hope you're ready to fight. Do you have a minute, brother? Brother? Nice. My stepmom threw me out. My dad wanted to kill me, and Fjord just fired my mom. We're going broke. But you and I have always gotten along. As we their son, you can vote on family matters. She's so smart. Nice. If I'm going to sell myself, it will be for a shitload of money. <laughs> this is an awesome team up. Each episode is so dynamic. I love it. I love all the flips and changes. Are we having guests? Just family. Yeah. Nice. Welcome Loki's back, baby. bitches. Perfect. In these difficult times, we have to stand together. Since the old days, we've made all our important decisions by voting. So we need to have everyone present. Welcome, Laurit. God's killing giants was not seen as evil, but because of the forces of chaos grew too strong, the world would end. At 17, if I had Thor powers, I'd be out wrecking some shit. What did Saxa offer you? My rightful place. First brother, at Ekemjotun, Samthu. People like you are chronically broke. The problem is that Saxa can't give you anything, but I can. I'm worth a lot. No, you're not. Wrong thing to say <laughs> if you want an ally. It's not hard to buy someone who's never had anything, Lauritz. What are you talking about? You have nothing to share, Saxa. Are you testing me? Brother, sister, fight round two, man. We need to Perhaps see one. We have things to work out before I enter the picture. I'll drive you home. This was nice. I'm just being honest with you. I hope you understand that. That I will never see you as anything but a bastard. 
At least the bastard is a real child, which I guess you never had. Saxo told me about your giants and leftover gods from over 3,000 years ago. That this family is just roleplay. That you're barren? Except for Vidar. I'm just being honest with you too, stepmom. <laughs> He's classic, man. Master manipulator and game player. I love it. You're never going to be part of my family. We're the same, you and I. Stay away from me. Let him go! What are you going to do? You don't have any powers anymore. Without your powers, you're nothing. We're coming for you and your family. Hello! Oh, we have a visitor. I was just on my way, but Close. nice talking to you boys. He is coming. Now you're ready. What made Thor complete? The hammer. Get the hammer, and you'll get your powers back. You just need to get the key, which your brother just got back from the giants. Then I'll summon your team. You'll never give it up. Then don't tell him. You have to understand that the end justifies the means. And if you don't make the weapon and kill the giants, they'll kill you and your brother. I have to betray him. To save him. That's who you are. The one who must fight evil at any cost. So, so awesome. The writers of the series are brilliant. There's ice cream in the freezer, if you want. Can we talk, uh, brother? Wow. Wow, that episode was so good. Things are building up so fast toward, um, hopefully, what's going to be an epic, epic battle at the end. Again, it was cool to see more development on the characters. It's awesome just to see all of that wisdom of Odin portrayed so well. And great to see that Thor went through and learned his lesson pretty quick. I guess with six episodes, there's only so much time to do things. But this season is doing it so well. It's really putting all of the aspects of the story together so fast. And it's all uh, very sort of cognitive and... It's just flowing so smooth. Um, great to see Saxa. I think she's got a lot of depth. It has been awesome to see a bit more interaction between her and everyone else in the family and, of course, Mungna and everyone as well uh, as the season's developed. I definitely think if she were in charge of the business and everything, you know, the Giants would definitely uh, go unseen for a lot longer and cause less havoc. Awesome to see Fjord in his, in his sort of more aggressive role. He definitely plays that well. It's a neat change in his character from quite a submissive and um, indifferent character in the first season. And um, I love the way that Freya is so assertive as well with, you know, what she wants to do and how she's going to go about it. It's quite funny. Um, interesting to watch Loki's character just uh, develop more and more. And he is so awesome the way that he navigates everything. You never quite know which way he's going to go. You just hope that he's going to go the way of good. But you never know if he's going to be a bit devious or if he's got um, hidden motives and bits and pieces, which is perfect for Loki. So, you know, it's really great to see all of that. I'm looking forward to seeing this finale and what happens. If you've seen it, uh, please don't spoil it in the comments. I do appreciate all of your comments, information, support. But um, I'd love to watch this final episode without knowing what's going on beforehand. Hope you've enjoyed this, guys. And thanks again for all of your comments, support, information. I'm staying tuned and watching these with me. So um, stay tuned tomorrow when I bring out the finale. In the meantime, take it easy, guys.